Let's do. What do I do? No, I'm just going to do the pour first and then I will decide what color. I'm going to put them on the edge. Let me get my pour cup. Now, my paints were mixed with the flow troll at about a two part flow troll, one part paint only because a lot of them were the thick bodied. Usually I would do like a one in one. Um, I did two to one. Let me get my PB Blaster. I like to spray my cups and then wipe them out. Just allows all the paint to come out. Okay, so we're gonna start, what you put in first will come out last. Just remember that. <laughs> so let's go Payne's Gray. Just a splash of white after that. With some, um, yeah, quinacridone, no, <laughs> my purple. Dioxazine, purple. So I'm going from more of a darker to a light. So we'll do the quinacridone magenta. Emerald green. I don't really see how that's emerald green, but they say it is. I don't know. With metallic blue. A little more purple. Paints gray. White. Magenta. And these do not have silicone in them. Let's do the Viridian Blue. Let's put all that in there. Um, this. It's a little too thin for this painting, but oh well. Gotta have at least a little strip of my 24 karat deco art. Back to the deep purple. Emerald green. Paints gray. <laughs> oh, didn't do my steel. I'm gonna stay in the steel. Should be enough. Get these out of the way. All right, my music stopped. I don't like that at all. <laughs> and if I go silent when I'm pouring, that is only because um, I focus. I focus really hard when I'm pouring. Well, good morning, Katie. Captain America shields what? <laughs> what, Leanne? <laughs> Captain America shields, huh? The colors I reckon? I don't know. All right, ready? Ready, ready? Showing up and going up here. Good here. those cells and I have no silicone. Oh, how pretty.
Buddy. Hush. Buddy. No, sir. where I've got silicone in this. Popping my bubbles. Right. Y'all see that? All right. Now we're going to tilt really, really slow. I do not want to lose the composition of this. I didn't even use pink and there's like pink coming up through here. This little wispies. And I'm going to bring it back to the center. I need a, uh, let's put this, this is just some extra I had mixed up. This allows it to flow over this paint to the sides much easier instead of rolling over itself and losing some of the composition that I have on this. Let's go get messy now, y'all. Buddy, what you doing in here? Don't get here right now, Senor. this way. I'm afraid I'm going to lose too much right here. I need to get y'all up higher. <laughs> oh well. Well, at least y'all didn't have to wait till 10 o'clock to watch my videos, huh? <laughs> or 11 or, you know. Later than that sometimes. I cannot wait to get that center opened up a little bit. It's gonna be so pretty. It's messy. <laughs> 
torch, get some of them bubbles that I opened up now. If you do it at the end, it tends to leave like little divots where they popped and they don't necessarily all fill in. But if you do it while you're still stretching, you have that opportunity to fill those divots in. Trying to walk it down so it's nice and even. see it start to open up right there in the middle well where it was in the middle <laughs> rid of more of I still got a lot of paint on here I'm gonna get rid of most of this back here just because I love this area much better I can have a good Friday now. That first one I did this morning, I just really didn't like. This is much, much better. <laughs> All right. Always make sure you get your edges. Because as that drips, it will pull the paint off your sides of your canvas. Then that's just no good. Hands off. For those that don't have a sink in your art room, just get a bucket, put some soapy water in there when you go in there, and just use that. You will be thankful that you did. Some people I know that don't have a sink, they just never did anything. They're very thankful they done that. Just gonna find a little torch. As it sits, it will move more. Um, more little, you know, cells will come up, air bubbles will come up, and your paint is constantly moving as it dries. So you might walk away and come back in five minutes, it looks totally different. But this is where making sure it's level counts. You might come back and your whole painting is off to the side. If it's not level, that will happen. <laughs> Most definitely will happen. And you don't want that. All right, there isn't much paint left on here, just enough to coat the canvas, which is good. Just trying to work out any more air bubbles that might be in there.
And then I'll come back periodically throughout the day while it dries and wipe, scrape the edges. You're always gonna have some there. And that's also a way to tell if you're level. If you have more drips on one side than the other, then that one is probably a little bit lower than the rest of them. Just making sure that I have paint on my corners. All of my edges are painted. All right. All right, so I'm gonna get you down and bring you in for a close-up. Super duper cool, y'all. I love it, love it. metallic in there. Uh, fingers up through here. It's like those are like eyeballs at the end of them. <laughs> If you look deep, it looks like there's layers of like ghosts in there. The little reefs, little ledges. Well, there it is. Got little bubbles down here. Metallic. And you want to make sure you know it falls right off the edges and keeps with the same. Um, uh, okay, I rotated you. Come on. The same pattern that goes up on the side. All right. Well, let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna have videos starting now um, on YouTube. So please check out my channel, like and subscribe. If you like this, please like it on Facebook. Share it. And I just want y'all to have a very, 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 very happy Friday. Wonderful weekend. Um, it's probably gonna storm most of the weekend here, so yay, no bike riding for me. Um, but yeah, have a good weekend, y'all. I might be back this weekend if it's raining. You'll probably see a lot of me if it's raining. So, like it. If you like it, like it. Have a good one. Goodbye, my pandemic painters, my COVID contacts, and my Rona rookies. <laughs> I hope y'all have um, had a wonderful time watching this video. And I hope you learned a lot from painting. If you have any questions or you do like any of my paintings that I do, contact me. They're mostly for sale. Um, so here's a final page off here. And take a little close up on this one. Let me know what you think. Um, hope you all enjoyed my video. Have a good weekend. Keep painting, my friends. <laughs>